You're on the stream. I can't believe Rosemary. Hey, hey chat roomy. Salty corn bar. Hey, chicken head. The Omega Video Toaster Pro version. Hey, Beatmaster. Uh, and chat room, are you seeing me too? I know you can hear me. Hey, Stooge, Morgus, Hawks Post. Hey, yeah, should be able to see you. Jay Mez. Hey, Becky, Gumby, Giz1. I can say these names now and then if I miss you at the end of the show. N4BFR, TI 83, Brintaro, Chickenhead 21, Tupelo Steve, and, and uh, who someone sent me I gag. There's a, a name I was constantly reproducing, and they just said, I think it, Dick, it's just I gag, Ranger Rick Danielle. Um, so you fight among yourselves to be chat room celebrity of the week. Okay. So that when the show begins, <laughs> the crickets are always ready to go. Hey, Dale Paco, no train. Yay. I lag. Is that correct? I lag. No, you do it. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Gumby. It's so funny because when in, in Zoom, the shot is so wide, and when I go into um, Skype, and, uh, 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 who wants to be Mary Poppins? Who's gonna? Who's excited about the Oscars tomorrow night? I, I don't know. I, I, yeah. Again, crickets. Who's, who can't wait for the Oscars? Anybody? Hey, Roberto. Hi there. <laughs> Oscar. Thanks for listening Ooh. to Twit. Cue the crickets again. Big nope. Nope, no train. Might never take it again? Wow. Yeah, there was something... I At first I thought it was a joke about DC Comics, who owns MAD. Uh, someone said, did they threw you out of New York, are they throwing you out again? Uh, there was something about DC Comics where they... Because of COVID and people being able to work at home, that they are going to pretty much do away with all the offices. And they're just going to have like a huge open office where if you come to work, you pick a desk and you work there. <sighs> because it's still save a ton of money. No more offices. I'll be working from home until I retire. Oh, okay. Dale Paco, what do you do? And Dale Paco, why aren't you chat room celebrity of the week one week? That would be great. Roberto can't wait for the Oscars. Wow. Uh, the Oscars has three women hosts. I understand Osc I? Uh, Oscar Isaac is going to be the Moon Knight on Wednesday. Say again, Jamie B. Oscar Isaac. The actor, oh right, is going to be starring in a six-part special Marvel Cinematic University Universe Disney Plus TV series called Moon Knight. Looks pretty intense, and it starts on Wednesday. That's the only wow. Oscar I'm interested in. Oh, okay, okay. And while we're here, I might as well say that I got my recordings running. I think you're on the stream, and I think that I got the promo ready to play, and I think everything is good. And good as we're going to be, so we can do this show. If you're ready to do this, are you ready to do the show? Uh, I'm ready to do this show. All right. So today is Saturday, the 26th of March. And this is the Giz Fizz for Saturday, the 26th of March. And it's episode 468. And it begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen. 
It's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. And the double harp is in tune. So we're going to start with raise your hands and we'll pick just one of you to be chat room celebrity. Of the week. Oh my God, the cat scared away the crickets. Uh, All right, that... Probably was a mutual yawn from everybody in chat. Nobody wants to be, once again, chat room celebrity of the week. I wish someone would at least make a video. Uh, Dale Paco, make a video. Dick, this is where I sit and watch. This is where I work. You don't have to be in it. Be great if we saw you, but if you don't want to be in it, don't be in it. And I look out the window and I see this. And there's my pet. Or I have no pets. I have a big book collection like that. You know, just anything. Anything. And the chat room will love it because that means they didn't have to do it. I mean, it. George knocks himself silly and he goes, why don't people send stuff in? I said, George, I have no, I have no, I don't know why either. All right. Anyway, speaking of George Davis, we are going to do photos. He sends in. Uh, Tell Jamma B he didn't switch the stream. Ah! Okay. So the... I think see you the whole time. But they're seeing the stream now, right? See. Hello. Hello. Yeah. It's there. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, chat room. Not all of us are the social, but you don't have to be a social butterfly, just a little video. Like I said, you don't have to be in it. You don't have to be in it. Uh, all right. Photos that you caption, photos. B says we are not seeing it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's all good now. Oh, yeah, we have a monitor here and it's black. It's black. Mm-hmm. There it is. There it is. Photo number one, if you are just uh, doing audio, it's a bunch of monitors on the screen and financial reports, okay? Uh, Five screens with all kinds of financial numbers and graphs on it. And... Looking for Leo's Bitcoin, animatronic celebrity chat room, scenes from billions, pick a graph, any graph, uh, riding the crazy scooter roller coaster, the crazy stock roller coaster, pick a graph, any graph, Leo on a hot date, all this to predict the weather, uh, greed is good, stocks are in order here, a stock photo, shooting the moon, Jamma B's room, it's time to sell, sell, sell. Had enough, gone for coffee. Day trading 101. Oh my God, I'm having a heart attack. Hope they didn't, don't have, I hope they didn't have to enter all that data. Watching myself go broke in five different ways. Heart monitor when he found the stream wasn't on. <laughs> uh, they're going by so fast. Two piles of Chinese restaurant menus. And that's how counterfeit money is made. There's lint on the photo. Price is going way up. Wall Street are on steroids. We're so proud of our five-year-old. He's making millions. (laughs) Says Mandy. uh, No wonder what screen I look at. I'm broke. No matter what screen I look at, I'm broke. Uh, Working out the... (laughs) 
<laughs> working out the chances of a celebrity of the week. That's very fun. You just make a just make a line straight down to the floor. Those are the chances. Forecasting Mad Magazine profit futures. Just make another line straight down to the floor. Uh, me calculating which bills I'll pay this month. Looks like the bubble's about to burst. Warren Buffett's desk. About 10 earthquakes right there. Michael Bloomberg's office. These screens are fake. I'm playing video games. Piles of cash. Uh, built by grade school student. And we'll end with finance roulette. All right. Uh, George said... For monitors with charts on the screen, my caption is, Mr. Allen, by the paper bills of money on the table, it looks like you know what you're doing. Congratulations. Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't see that there's cash there. Wow. What is that, a $1,000 bill? A whole stack uh, okay. of them. A stack of them. Wow. Uh, okay, photo number two is a man with one of those wing, human wing kites about to jump off a cliff. Oh, it could be a lady. A ma- uh, a la- it could be it's a lady, It's probably too, a okay? man, though, because this is why women live longer than men. <laughs> a person running toward the edge of a cliff to jump off, and they're... Uh, have one of those inflated wing parachutes or kites, whatever, attached to them so they can fly over the, the valley. MacGyver wannabe, here, hold my beer. Uh, power sail. Ready for takeoff. Who wants to be chat room celebrity? We're out of here. Uh, the last photo of George. It was good to know you. Did I forget to buckle in? Uh-oh. All those stock losses. This is my golden parachute. Jam is day off. No sleeve. So it's a woman. Uh, oh, so fast. What could possibly go wrong? Come fly with me. Hey, I saw this done on, in a cartoon once. Bubble Boy, Wiley Coyote running into a wall with a drawing on it, leaping into action. Uh, what was I supposed to do when I moved past the edge? Ah! Uh, a transgender taking in views? What the? Uh, this is what I get for using Spirit Airlines. Those parasailing lessons paid off. The world's lowest cost airline. I believe I can fly. One, two, three. Here I go. Just landing. Hope I can stop before the edge. Up, up, and away. What I did for a Klondike bar. Has anybody seen John Denver? Those airline prices are crazy these days. I can see my life flash before my eyes. Uber fuel delivery, food delivery. And we'll end with Raven. I can see my house from here, and I'm going there. Ah. Okay. Um, George says, for a man launching himself for a power sail flight, my caption is, I can tell by looking at the clouds, there are a lot of updrafts, which will give me many hours of flight. Okay, photo three. Oh, that's very funny. It's the word yes, but the word yes is spelled out in all no's. N-O, okay. The word, a giant word yes, but every component of the word yes is a no. All right. Congressional voting. You can say yes, but you mean no. Miss mix missed mixed signals. Uh, my wife's answer when we're deciding what to have for dinner. Yes, but no, but yes. What part of yes don't you understand? Yes, we have no bananas. Magoo says maybe. Politicians answer. 
Um, so vote yes or no. When yes means no. How many, oh, that's good. Caesar says, how many no's to make a yes? Um, I think I remember saying, oh, you know, what? Do, I always say this. What do we care if we see stuff again? The no's have it, hitting meaning in the word yes. <laughs> Brain scan of a politician. No means yes. Read my lips. I'm saying yes. I mean no. What you hear in the bedroom. Congress. Sometimes no means yes. The yes wins it. The no's have it. Album cover of the lost yes record. Uh, two year old on a tantrum. The script of singing in the rain where the dubbing was all off. Can you spell it out for me? The big yes wins. Schroeder, Schrodinger's cat slogan. Schrodinger. Shredding a cat's uh, slogan, uh, shut us to the office and they pull me over. You can say goodbye. I say hello. Another maybe. And sometimes, I assume that sometimes no means yes. Uh, okay, George said. Photo three, the word yes spelled out only using small no's. My caption is, what you're really telling me is no. Are you really meaning yes? Right? I'm totally confused. Okay, photo four. No, I meant on. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a cartoon. A cat in a rocking chair. Another cat. Cat's playing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's just go with that. Cat's playing and there's a rocking chair involved. And there are one, two, three, five cats, four cats playing. And one cat sleeping. Uh, Kit Kat Playroom. Uh, Kitty Paraglide Practice. Program is at work. What cats do when you're away or at home, they don't care. <laughs> That's that's funny. Uh, it's peaceful as long as a, a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs, catting around, catastrophe, Rube Gold Cat, catastrophic, rocking bash at the cat house, typical day in the life of cats, Goldberg mouse trap, a picture says a thousand words, <clears throat> typical cat-friendly household. Garfield's playroom. When the mouse is away, the cats will play. When the dog's away, the cats will play. <laughs> Jackass movie with cats. Another, this is going to lead to a cat catastrophe. Answer to a concentration game. Rock on, hip cats. The dog did it. Stunt caps. And we'll end with Johnny Monday. Cat or cat a pult. C A T catapult. Oh, George called it five cats too. For the photo of five cats playing, my caption is What you're showing me is when the parents are away, the cats will play. So you got uh, you got a lot of matches there. Okay, photo five. Wow, little girl. In lipstick, no less, uh, looking at her smartphone. A little girl, a little in years, looking at a cell phone. Okay, maybe the chat room will put. Uh, they grow up so fast. Young selfie. I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> I'm on my way to work. Is that a phone or a mirror? What do you mean they blocked my cell? It's me. Checking my stock portfolio. Uh, wait, is that? Is that supposed to be? What is that? Rosemary Orchid when she was little? Looking Ro for a play date? Rosemary Orchard is a co-host with Micah Sargent on iOS Today. And it kind of looks oh, like okay. a very young Rosemary Orchard. 
Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Kim Kardashian, age four. The phone is older than she is. K-pop fan in training. Girl empties credit card. Why are you sending me a picture of that? How much did my stock portfolio just earn? TikTok dots? Grimes hacking hipster runoff? Hey, mom. I don't want you to, ha I don't want your hand down phone, hand me down phone. What? I just got my first job. <laughs> Jay says, planning my wedding. Uh, she gets many likes on Instagram. She's also little in height, Dick, says Sue. Mommy, this app makes me look old. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot selfie. Uh, and we'll end with uh, Web8186. Hey, this is the iPhone 4. I want a new one. Okay. George said, for a little girl looking at a cell phone, my caption is, oh no, Siri must have died because they said she's in the cloud. Oh, that's funny. Siri must have died because it says she's in the cloud. Okay, photo six of six. Wow. It is a gigantic empty room and by uh, empty everything's gone including the ceiling fixtures all the furniture carpeting and there's a hideous part of a portrait or poster on the wall of teeth <laughs> okay <laughs> lips and teeth something a room like that would be about $5,000 a month in New York City in that current condition, or 8000 Ooh, scary. Um, Jimmy Hoffer embedded in the wall. What do you think of my fixer-upper? That's an angry mouth on the far wall. Red rum. <laughs> Chicken head says, chat room slater of the week, waiting room. Little paint, some flooring. It'll be just like home. Uh, slight fixer-upper in New York City, 10 grand a month. Pizza Rat's new digs, who yelled fire, Jamma Bee's hideout. The MT Gots customer support office, or Go X customer support. Room digested everyone and everything, and one of its walls is still chewing. Nice place for a party, Dave's not here. Haunted Mansion comes with free ghosts. Uh, um, Ruma La Rosa Tabla, use your imagination. That's not a post, it's a real face. Wall Wizard wastes the place. You can put your spin on it. The future of malls in 2022. This is the kind of place murder movies are shot in. Big Brother is watching you. Which door is the men's room? The face to the left of the middle. And we'll end with, here's Johnny. Okay. George says, for the large abandoned room in a building, my caption is, Mr. Light, after we clean up this room, you can use it for storage for only $600 a month. And that's a real good bargain. God. Boy, if I had a room like that, I could fill it. $600 a month, easy. All right, okay, George. It's always a bonus with George. Interesting fact. Because of COVID, many theaters were closed at that time. Interesting fact. Because of COVID, many theaters were closed at that time. Seven Hug Silo had to be used to store popcorn kernels because they weren't being used. That's 80 million tubes of popcorn worth. You can go online and buy 30 or 50 pound bags of kernels cheap right now. Okay. Okay. But we don't know what theater chain to go to. Okay, so they were storing popcorn in silos. Wow. Get in line now to be... 
<laughs> oh, George has what a sense of humor. George ends with, get in line now to be chat room celebrity of the week by giving John your Skype name. You'll be on soon. And lots of luck with that. Operators are standing by. Yes. Uh, and they've been sleeping for months on, on end. Uh, we'll be waiting to see you. Oh, he, he, he does add, yeah, right. Um, I'll see you next week with more photos. Till then, take care. Bye, George. George, thank you. Uh, okay, so we have, we had the photos. We have additional photo. We're, oh, we, oh yes, thank and you for reminding me. And I have additional me. photos. So many more photos. Oh, okay, good. Okay, who's gonna, uh, we do mine first? You, yeah, or yours, what, yours first. All right, so this came up, you know, your memories from, I think it was six years, the, the car show six years ago. I never ever saw one of these, but you captioned it, okay? At the car show... For some reason, New York City police had a large display of old police cars, and then this. All right, so we need captions for that. If you're just uh, listening, it's like a mini New York City police car. Okay, a mini New York City police car. Uh, life-size micro machine, meter maid's car, mini cops on patrol. Oh, this is very funny. Mr. Dave, we only use this for petty larceny. Very funny. <laughs> Little trooper, oh, kid's first car. It's for arresting tiny people. It's the sidewalk patrol car. <laughs> These are great. The little car that could for height challenge cops. Meet a maid's new ride, clown cop car. It's for the New York Police Department circus police car. <laughs> Morgan said, bringing in skinny criminals. How many funny cops fit in that car? Um, does that thing have a Hemi? Honey, I shrunk the police car. Small crimes department. These are excellent. Uh, you can fit 20 criminal clowns in the back of this police car. How many donuts fit in there? It's a robot. Mandy's clown car to the meetup. Itty bitty police car commu a committee. The only way you can park in New York City. Hawks Post said they use that police car in Central Park, and that's true. Uh, Central Park Patrol. Oh, I guess they do use it. Uh, Giz One said this is the car for the children police. Um, squirrel police. <laughs> this is very funny. Morgan said criminals drive their themselves to the police station. Uh, um, cruiser for officer tattoo. Defunct police test car. And we'll end with in place of the horse patrol. That's what, that, that was very funny. Uh, mine would have been, uh, police department learns cars left out in the rain aren't sanforized. Uh, okay, that was fun. All right, so Jamie Beat is another one? Well, I have a building, as a particular building, and I'm going to show you okay. four pictures of this building, and then I'll tell you why I'm only, uh, half here today, because I'm very excited about what's going on in this building right here, right now. Okay. That building there. And I wonder if anybody recognizes that building. I would be surprised if they do, but it's a relatively famous building. Here's another picture of it. Oh, that one's at Ooh. night. Ooh. Wow. Uh, and uh, here it is. Uh, more pictures of the same oh, building. Oh, and... wait a minute. Is this the new Twit headquarters? Oh. Shh. <laughs> Leo, Leo doesn't know. Here's an inside oh, of it. Oh, okay. Here's a picture of the inside. Wow. And um, there's got to be a museum, right? Well, something like a museum. Uh, it's actually not a museum. <clears throat> it, is a, uh, it is a concert hall. And in fact, my favorite band wanted to play there in March of 2020. And it got canceled. So they couldn't. 
But you know uh, what? Because the building wasn't ready or? No, because of COVID. Oh, 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 okay. And? So, so <laughs> go ahead. So, uh, they rescheduled. And they rescheduled for this weekend. And in fact, they played Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Interesting thing about Iceland is that Saturday night is right now. Are you going? Going? This is Iceland. No, I'm not going to Iceland. Oh, okay. And it looks like they're about to start. The oh, this is live? Yep, in Iceland. And they're about to start the last song of the first set. And I can't wait to finish the Giz Fist so I can get home and watch the second set. Oh, my gosh. And, and, and where is this located? Reykjavik, Iceland. Oh, okay. That's why we haven't heard of it. Let the wild games begin. Anyway, so that's what's going on in Iceland right now and has half of my attention. And it's okay that I'm missing it because they rerun it. So when I get home, I'll be able to watch the rerun. And I'm very excited that my band finally got to go to Iceland and play in this amazing Harpa. The concert hall is called Harpa. And uh, the band is called Umphreys McGee. And I'm excited for them. Okay, uh, ch uh, type the name of the band in the chat room because some people are asking. I don't um, have an open chat room to type into. Oh, you don't have a chat. Okay, yeah, but, uh, okay. Look at this building. Oh, my gosh. It, it's amazing. It's beautiful. That yeah. night show. So, that night show. You, you know Russell. Russell's our IT guy. He was here yeah. this morning, and I was, um, I was telling him about the concert going on, and he said, oh, yeah, when I was in Iceland, I went and visited it. He took the tour of this place because he saw it and said, what the heck is that? And he, he took a tour on the inside. Wow. Okay, Amazing. that's enough of my distraction. Let's finish the show so I can get home and uh, watch the second Okay, set. okay. Uh, let me get out my magnifone. Okay, no, no more of that. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Oh, okay. So easy. Chat room. The questions are going to be about. Just write your answer down. Don't speak it out loud. Questions will be about. Uh, uh, uh. More than that. More than Apple. No, no. Kind of looks like a cherry. There we go. There we go. And now we have the correct spelling. Okay. Uh, the questions will be about Applebee's. Yay. <laughs> it boggles the mind with some of these questions, okay? Chat room, put on your thinking caps, okay? And grab your magnifying glasses. Yeah, because I doubt if anybody is going to be able to get this, okay? So don't jump in, give it your utmost thinking to come up with the right answer. Redact has already got the right answer and he hasn't even heard the question. What day of the year will veterans eat for free at Applebee's? <laughs> uh, no answers. <laughs> Ladies night. It, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, okay, of course, Veterans Day. I mean, <laughs> what day of the year will veterans eat for free? Every day, damn it! They should eat for free every day. Oh, okay. Finish the Applebee's slogan. Applebee's, good eating in the blank. Finish the Applebee's slogan. Good eating, good eating in the trenches. Blank. Trenches. For the <laughs> veterans, you know? Yeah. 
uh, 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 in the dumpster, in the mall, in the nude, in the neighborhood, in the slammer, <laughs> in the suburbs. In <laughs> Rentera has the best. Good eating in the restaurant next door. <laughs> Good eating in the mess hall. Good eating in the Outback Steakhouse. In the feed bag. In the sense of the word. Oh, Travis is good too. Our slogan is good eating in any other restaurant. Uh, across the street. <laughs> Do you have a bee? Any idea? Applebee's. Yeah, I think it's good the one about the neighborhood. Uh, okay, Myra? Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 Myra and Jamma B, you are both correct. Good eating in the neighborhood. And several people did have it also. What famous New Orleans thoroughfare lends its name to an Applebee's spicy chicken and shrimp dinner? Well, that's a little I tougher. It, I was going to say, if you if you eat there, you have to eat there a lot to know this. What famous or a fan, Apple, a New Orleans fan? Yeah, that's right. What famous New Orleans thoroughfare lends its name to Applebee's spicy chicken and shrimp dinner? I think the chat room. Oh is, my is god! One of the other. Oh my god! <laughs> It is in not chicken neighborhood. It is indeed not crash and burn. It is indeed Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I would do another one. It's very funny. After I, I, I do like two of these cards, I, I can start to read the type without the magnifying glass. <laughs> Hold but on, hold, hold, on Vic. Uh, hold, hold on, Dick. Hold uh, on, Dick. Looks like they're, they're still rocking in uh, Reykjavik. Well, that's going to go on, so let's leave them alone. Yeah. Ooh, but you know what? Uh, I, I, I... <laughs> it's very funny, but there was a quick shot there of a tech person watching uh, Giz Fizz. Oh yeah, right down there at the well, right in the yeah, bottom of the screen. Yeah, the yeah. Right. Yes, they're, 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 they're watching yes, yes. Twit. Yeah, they always have a Twit stream running it on the Empire yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I saw that too. So that was good. Nobody's gonna slow me down. <laughs> okay, chat room. Ah, uh, it's gonna be easier. Oh man, thirty-one of them. Uh, uh, uh. Chat room. Mm -mm -mm. Company chat room. Company. All right. All right. All right. It is indeed Baskin Robbins. Why did Baskin Robbins start their company with 31 flavors? Why did Baskin Robbins decide to start their company with <laughs> Jim Tez? It was 31 ways to get diabetes, to get to the other side, redacted, because that's all they had. <laughs> well, Sled, because they didn't have 32 flavors. Because the 32nd one went bad. Uh, Jamie B, any idea, or do you know? I don't. Okay, Myra, why did Baskin Robbins start with thirty-one flavors? It only had thirty-one compartments in the little. <laughs> <laughs> the you know the serving thing. There were only all right no, but uh, several in the chat room were correct. They wanted to start with enough flavors that you could go every day of the month and get a different flavor. How clever! Yeah, it's clever. Um, 
Okay, Dick. Oh, got, uh, we gotta go back to uh, Iceland. Back to Iceland. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Jennifer Hartwick, everybody. Thank you so much for taking a short break. We'll see you in a few minutes for another uh, Thanks, Jeremy B. And the kids with Mara and everybody for making this the hit that it is in Iceland. Okay. Um, <laughs> what Nirvana song shares part of its title with a brand name of a girl's deodorant? And our thoughts for Taylor Higgins, Higgins who's uh, a Foo Fighters uh, drummer passed away. And the Foo Fighters actually came from Nirvana. Uh, uh, leader of the Foo Fighters used to be in Nirvana. And oh, okay. The, the okay. drummer of the Foo Fighters passed away yesterday, so that's very sad. Oh, yeah. At 50 okay. years old. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Uh, which Nirvana song shares part of its title with a brand name of a girl's deodorant? On Pit the Light, Left God, Teen Spirit. Rip Taylor. <laughs> uh, Lumberjack's Friend. Dave Gruel. Black Flag. Teen Spirit. Dry Idea. Stinky Pits. <laughs> Power Pack. Dead Skunk in the Middle of the Road. Uh, actually, there are a couple of correct answers up there. Myra, any idea? No. Jamma B, any idea? Well, I see the answers, but I didn't know. No, I didn't know it. Smells like Team Spirit. Several people have it. The last one there is Sue, the writer. Smells like Team Spirit. Oh. Chat room. This is like on Match Game when no one had anything right you we would do like a rose is a rose is a rose is a blank a uh, boxing champion that sells his own line of grills oh. <laughs> myra's writing it already boxing champion who sells his own line of grills redacted you got it very good Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Correct, correct, correct. You knew that, right, Chama B? Uh, you know, until the air fryer came around, my uh, three quarters of all my meals I created on my George Foreman grill. Oh, okay. Wow. Lean, mean meat grilling machine. Yes. Well, you know, I don't. This is going to. This is hard. Which. Ben and Jerry's flavor consists of chocolate ice cream, marshmallow, caramel, and fish-shaped fudge. Oh, Myra, no. Oh, my God. I might know also. Oh, wow. Which Ben and Jerry's flavor consists of chocolate ice cream, Marshmallow, caramel, and fish-shaped fudge. <laughs> Another bad creation. Diabetes delight, tuna smelt. Chunky salmon. <laughs> Moose tracks. Jamma B, you said you know? Well, I'm going with fish food. I'm not Am sure, I but I th I'm going with that guess. I know, the, I know the flavor, but the name escapes me. Okay. Uh, several in the chat room have it, and several of you have it with the correct spelling. It's fish food. P H I S H. Dick, do you does that word mean anything to you? P H I S H. Um, isn't it when yeah. when people try to take your identity? Ah, but where does that come from? Yes, yeah, so that, oh. that is a later version of it. 
It's the name of a oh. band. It's a band. Oh. A, a very popular jam band. Humphreys McGee oh, okay. wishes they were as popular as Fish. Oh, okay. All right, very good. Okay, so let me see where we are time-wise. All right. So we will do... This is going to be easier, okay? This this uh, Guinness World Records <laughs> leaves a lot to be desired. It, it, it's their food version, okay? And the picture just sort of helps it out. The tallest stack of pancakes is how tall. Okay, they even show you. This this stack of pancakes holds the Guinness World Record for the tallest stack of pancakes, which was made in August 2008 in Croatia. How tall is the Guinness World Record for pancakes? Really need a banana for scale. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, one and a half feet, sixteen feet, three and a half feet. What? Well, you're right. There is no real scale here to compare this to. Two hands as tall as Borat. Two feet, two and a half meters, 39 inches, uh, <laughs> Myra, any guess? Six feet. Six feet, Jamma B? Half that, three feet. Three feet. Um, two nautical feet. Um, well, Jamma B, you're pretty close. The tallest stack of pancakes made in August 2008 was two feet five inches tall. That's four. So that's 24, 29 inches. I bet they could have put another pancake on top of that. And it needed, Oxbow said, and it needed two gallons of syrup. Uh, okay. All right, we're going to do a, I'm not saying you're stupid. What, what are you saying? I am saying, oh, okay. I don't know if anybody in the chat room will know this from their lifestyle or not. What is the average length? Of a marriage that ends in divorce. What is the average length of a marriage that ends in divorce? You know, chicken had seven year itch. Boy, I. Oh, wow. The, uh, you know, it's hard because you would think if it wasn't working out, you'd get divorced in two years, and but then you figure, well, I love this person. I should give it some more. Oh, you know, I'm going to go with the seven-year rich thing. I'm going to say seven years. Gemma B? Five years. Five years. Myra? Eighteen years. 18 years. <laughs> what is the average length of uh, a marriage that ends in divorce? Da -da 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 -da. Eight years. Woo! If you add up all of ours and take an average, I'm sure we're right at eight years. Um, <laughs> all right, this is open to a lot of humorous answers. How many pair of underwear... Does an average man use in his lifetime? Jeez. <laughs> How many pair of underwear? Well, it's got to be more than it's got to be more than one. I think that would be safe to say. 
more than one. How many pair of underwear does an average man use in a lifetime? Jockey shorts or wide fronts? It's whatever you want. Wow. I'm going high with this. Uh, Jeremy B., what's your answer? How many pair of underwear does a man use in his lifetime? 1,000. Holy cow. 20 pair a week for 50 years. Isn't that 20 times 50? I don't, my math isn't good. God, I'm just going with 100. I guess that's not enough. Myra? I said four. Four? <laughs> <laughs> does, does Myra know any men? <laughs> Dennis? I would say seven. We're talking about seven? a lifetime. Seven, four, a hundred, and a what thousand. was your answer? One thousand. A thousand. <laughs> what? The, how many pairs no, of I'm underwear? I'm going through a thousand. Okay, okay, and oh my God! Eight. No. <laughs> no. Mo uh, Moon Riviera, you're very close. I think right. Look at here, you're closest. 125 pair. In, in oh, life. I must be going Oh, Mike fast. B. Mike B. did 127. <laughs> Moon, River, Moon River, Rivera got 133. Is that from the time you're an infant? Yeah, wait a minute. Well, man. It says man. Yeah. A man. So, well, no. It's so you figure, what, at least 18 on up. Mike B. almost got it. Go Throw two pair away and you, you're there. Um I would we'll do one more of these. Oh, wow. The current population, <laughs> the world's current population is twice the population of what year in the past? The current part. Like no, it. that's a I good, like it. Great, I like it. It's a good question. That's a that's a great question. We've the been current... growing a lot lately. We have the one. Yes, we had the one last week about uh, what percentage of people are alive now that have ever been alive. This yes. is a very similar kind of question. All right. So the the population doubled since what year? Would be another way to put this. How many? Uh, the world's current population is doubled since the year. God, well, the, well, the world's population, Jesus. Um, 1960, I'm going with. 1960? Yeah, you're going way earlier? I, I can't even, I don't have a clue. Um, okay, uh, 58, 70, well, it's all over the place. Jamie B., what's yours? The population has doubled since? 1980. Since 1980? Well, that was 30 years ago. No, no idea. My, no idea. Uh, chat, room, chat room is all over the place. Not, a lot of 1980s and 70s. Uh, uh, uh. 1970. <laughs> Chickenhead corrects my math. Thank you, Chickenhead. 1970. That makes sense. Yeah. What did you say, Dick? Didn't you say that? Yeah, I did say 70. Yeah, well, yeah, heck. But, yeah, but uh, someone else had 70, and a lot of people got close. All right, that's good. Uh, all right, we're going to start some. Uh, oh, you know, we we should do a Jaffe thing. Uh, um, uh, we're we're going to give you a stupid question, and you come up with the snappy answers, okay? I'll cover Jaffe's answers. So a man's walking down the street. Guy on the porch is sitting there, huge dog in his lap, dog sound asleep, and the man walking by said, oh, is that your dog? And you say, ah, okay, your snappy answer. You, say again? How can they see that I'm drinking wine? So is, is Dennis in the camera shot? Yeah, he's oh, there. Oh, this is for a wine yeah. tasting last night. Yeah. 
Uh, no, that's my wife. No, it's viewer suppression. What dog? No, it's a new method of birth control. No, it's a stray. No, we found him sleeping in our yard. No, it's my appendix. <laughs> Are you a doctor? It's my lap warmer. It's my belly warmer. It's my ugly cat. No, I wear him to keep warm. Yeah, why? No, he's people sitting me. No, I'm cold and I grabbed a fur that was walking by. No, it's the police dog. Uh, they're going so fast. No, it's a couch potato dog. No, that's my human. No, I'm an animal. No, but I'm an animal support human. No, how dare you insult my wife? No, but it's my lunch. Yes, and he's just a puppy. No, I'm his human. Uh, and we'll end with, no, it's my overgrown cat. <laughs> this is very funny. Um, okay. Uh, oh, I, I dropped my place. Hang on. Uh, uh, um. Go find that. Okay. No, this is my neighbor's dog. My dog is in my neighbor's lap. Oh, that's funny. Oh, no, this is my wife. Uh, okay, got a lot of those. A lot of matched uh, uh, Al Jaffe. And someone said, no, it's a, it's a hairy hot water bottle. Okay, those are from Al Jaffe. All right, now we're going to do some match game. Dennis, do you have a piece of paper? Alex isn't answering. Alex is not answering? It says he's online. I'm going to try again, but he hasn't been answering. Okay, here you go, Dennis. Oh. Okay. You need a pen? No, yeah. Here you go. I have a pen. Okay. No, Myra. Uh, uh, um. The gas station attendant said, Knight Rider came in here with his trick car. It's almost human. When I stuck the gas nozzle in it, it blanked. Gas station attendant said, Knight Rider came in with his car. The car's almost human. When I stuck the gas nozzle a nozzle in it, it blanked. All right, I got mine. Let me look up. It burped. It said, "Ouch!" Gag slapped my face. Said it's not. Uh, turned its head and coughed. Oh, that. <laughs> Giggled, winced, fell, tipped me, burped. Jumped, gave me a tip, said, ooh, that tickles, gasped, said, don't violate me, burped, moaned, burped, slapped me, asked, what's for dessert, squealed the tires, farted, stuck a hose in my rear, um, uh, okay, we'll start with Jamie B. No Alex, right, Jamie B? No, I just called him again. He's not answering. Okay, very good. Okay. Guest station attendant said that the guy from Night Rider came in. His car is almost human. When I stuck the no not yet, Charlie, when I stuck the nozzle in, the car burped. You got a lot of matches. Uh, I got matches too. When I stuck the gas nozzle in, the car jumped. Myra, uh, the car went, oh, we got some matches. And Dennis said, <laughs> the car asked for more. More gas, more gas. Um, dun -dun. Okay. Oh, Florence said to her husband, let me tell you how badly I wrecked the car. Remember, it didn't quite fit in the garage? Well, now it can fit in a blank. <clears throat> Florence said to her husband, let me tell you how badly I wrecked the car. Remember how it almost didn't fit into the garage? Now it can fit into a blank. All right, let me see if I got any matches. 
Oh, yay! Yay! I got matches. I got matches. Uh, shoe box, bread box, fit in the toaster, refrigerator box, dumpster, small garage now can fit in the living room, fit in the pizza box. Oh, Cesar says it can fit in a matchbox. Trash compactor. It can fit in an insurance claim envelope. In a nostril, in a shed, in an envelope, in a dollhouse garage. Uh, okay, we're going to start with Jammer B. Farin said, I'll tell you how badly I wrecked the car. Remember how it hardly fit in the garage? Well, now it can fit into a bread box. A lot of matches. Dennis, you said? A pocket. It can fit into a pocket. Myra said, Myra got some matches. It can fit in a trash can. And I got some matches too. It can fit into a shoe box. What was a famous bread box? What show constantly used the word bread box? Oh, oh don't say it out loud. Let's see if the chat room knows. Do you know? Chat room, what what show often used bread box? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jeremy B., did you know? I did not, but I see some people need... I see a common answer. Prominent answer. What's my line? It was a standard what's my line question, and it was like the only one they could ask that would narrow uh, uh, what you did to a size okay is say, your job bigger what, than a bread box you, than yes house. exactly what what you make is what you make smaller than a bread box so that's uh, mad that magazine was, will fit in a bread box yeah exactly that was great look at the look the, so many people knew about what's my line uh okay um we're gonna go back and we'll do another Oh, okay. Wow, the time is flying. Uh, 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 um. Oh, Jack said, did you have to remember old TVs? Jack said, I bought one of those new tiny packet, tiny pocket TVs. It only has a one inch screen. So if you watch blank, you only see one of them. I bought a pocket TV that's so tiny, if you watch blank, you only see one of them. There are two great answers. Two great answers. I'll go with the one, I think, the chat room. Charlie, we do this one and one more, and then you. And Charlie, you have a video, too, this week. He does? Yep. Oh, you didn't get it? Didn't I send you a link? I may not have gotten it. Okay, I sent it in an email. We'll do it next week. That's okay. Um, I bought a one-inch TV set, pocket TV. Its screen is so small. If you watch blank, you only see one of them. Oh, no one got my... Okay. Two and a half men, Mark and Mindy, Amos and Andy. The... Uh, Three's Company, Tom and Jerry, Laverne and Shirley. Oh, I, I got no matches. <laughs> if you watch blank, you'll only see one of them. Dolly Parton. Oh. That's a good answer, Dick. It's a good answer. Okay. Uh, Myra said you only watch... Oh, My, Myra... Oh, no matches either. If you only watch... If you watch tennis, you only see one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not, you don't have the next train. Uh, Dennis was in the right ballpark. I know Ozzy and Harriet. Mm. Or Harriet. Okay. And Jammer B, you said, Charlie, one more, and then you. Atari 3000. Mm. Sorry, Dick. I was just so impressed oh. by your gadget on Tech Guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll do one well, more. Why don't you show us your gadget on Tech Guy? Because <laughs> it kind of matches the question, right? <laughs> um, oh, the, the thing. Oh, yeah, I put it in the box already. It's a little TV. Yeah. It's a tiny TV. Oh, yeah, it was it a TV. It, was it a, only shows an, Atari an, oh, 1. Yeah. Atari 1. Uh, uh, um, it's a working 
The company is called World Smallest, and they made this working model of the Atari 2600. And you get all nine games, eight. not just one, all with, nine. Yeah, and and Pac-Man, so you get 10 games. And Pac-Man. Um, well, we know Pac-Man is not a game, it's a way of life. It's a <laughs> And the, it's a working joystick. Um, it's a... Um, uh, Adam and uh, his son, uh, uh, Jeff, the father, and Adam, the son, made a video about that, and that's how I found out about it. Uh, okay, final question is, oh, Richie Rich is so rich. How rich is he? He's so rich. He has a doorman at the back door, a doorman at the front door, and even a doorman for his blank. No music? Richie Rich is so rich. There's a doorman for the front door, a doorman for the back door, and a doorman for the blank door. Uh, 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 uh. Wrong, wrong music. Wrong music. What happened there? Oh, I know what happened. I was pushing the go ahead instead of play button, and it went way ahead. I kept pushing the go ahead, okay. go ahead button instead of play. Now let's see what we got. Okay, Richie Rich was so rich. He had a doorman at the front door, a doorman at the back door, and even a doorman for the blank door. Oh, there's the thinking. Refrigerated door is a great answer. Oven door, very funny. Bread box, very funny. Bathroom door. The vault, that's, that's very good. Um, Long John's back door. Outhouse. A cuspidor. The doggy door, the alpaca door, the trap door, the microwave door, the door to the mouse hole in the wall, the trap door. Okay, Jammer B, we'll start with you. Richie Rich was so rich. He had a doorman for the front door, a doorman for the back door, and a doorman for the car door. Oh, that's very good. No answers, but very good. Uh, I got some matches. Even a doorman for the bathroom door. I, I thought that said Myra, Dolly Parton oh. door. <laughs> Myra matched also. Doorman for the bathroom door. And Dennis. <laughs> for the fly door. Uh, all right. So, chat room. It's time to meet. Without a video, but we'll get the video organized for next week. Let us meet the mascot, Charlie the dog. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Charlie. There he comes. Here he comes. Hey. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where are you? Oh, you have to kiss me, Charlie. Look at that. Yeah, Charlie, they're out there. Ooh. Ooh, Charlie, so are you ready for your close up now? Yeah. Oh, boy. How high can I climb? Okay. Yes, sit and wait. He wags, yes, so wags a lot. The chat room named Charlie, so wags a lot. So in New York, it's going to be. 36 degrees actual temperature Monday. So we're trying to make a groomer appointment. <laughs> so we're going to wait another couple of weeks because this weather is just bizarre. Um, okay, you've been watching regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. Regular Old Fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Nick Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Charlie the Dog, Myra, <clears throat> Myra Joyce, Gumby, Jim Taz, Jamma B, Missing Alex Gumpel, Super Roo, Beatmaster, Becky, Super Roo, we just did uh, Chicago Tim Rufus, oh my God, they're going so fast, Caesar, Sly One, Giz one, Jim Tez, T83, um, 
And for BFR, Logan 5, Lumpy, Doug M, Redacted Magoo, Ranger Rick, Johnny Monday, and Mandy the Clown Production. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. It's not just for turtles anymore. Bye. See you Thursday for Giz Whiz. And then I'll be back Saturday with another radio spot and another Giz Fizz. Will Thank someone you, someone break the rule and send in like a two minute video for host chat of the week? That would be great, okay? Just a little two minute video. Could be three minutes if you want. That's it. Jamma B, thank you. Thank you, Chat Dick. room, bye. See you next week. Alex, we missed you. Look at bye, these crazy everybody. guys. Look at these crazy guys trying to sell their new album. Uh, Looks like it's still set break in uh, Reykjavik, so better run home so I can see the second set. Okay, very good. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 What's that?